Right guys, welcome to part two of the three series here at Mottram Hall. We're on the back nine. We're on hole number 13. It's 470 yards, par four, stroke index one. This is a signature hole. It is hard. It, it is, is hard. uphill, dog leg left, and Balls. it plays over 500. Right, yeah, you can't really tell where the where the, um, the landing area is. I think there's, there's a bunker short, so it's 200 to clear that. And you need to get you need to get this a little bit round the corner with the driver, otherwise it's three wood to the fairway. So I'm going aggressive line. I've hit the driver well so far. So I'm going to be aggressive. Uh, just left of that, just right of that corner would be ideal. All right, look good. Yeah, it's fine. Is it on the money? Yeah, good. That corner just next to Carter's head. Fairways. That's where it's got to be if you want to get it on into. It could have been a bit more aggressive, I think, but. Really? It's on the fairway. Yeah, see here I play a bit safer and just gonna have to probably hit a three wood in. Yeah, it's gonna be a long way. I think you just, it's one of them holes that you accept it's gonna be a long second. That's just the way it is. That's it. Ready. Ready, steady, go. Oh, oh, pushed it. Now you definitely need three wood. That is long now. Just right side. Oh, and just the, just past the fairway as well. Now it's going to be a long second. Par five now. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is tricky. 230 to the front edge, in uphill, into the draft, out the rough. Can you get a flyer with the three wood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to hit it as hard as I can. Yeah, you just got to just go for it, chipping a putt. Otherwise, worst case. Oh yeah, it's, I can't see me getting on into from here. Let's have a go though, anyway. He ripped it. Hit it well. Depends Stay how short. Stay away from it. Uh, it's just short of it. You've got about 30 left. Long, isn't it? Very, very long today. Very long. Just to give you another an idea, that's the tee back there in the distance. And this is why you don't want to miss it left. If you miss it left, you start getting in the thick stuff. So you just want to make sure, like Carter's done. Just get it to the right side of the fairway. He's going to have a slightly longer one. I think it's 220, is it? 199 to the flag. All right, 199. Good. Uphill. So we'll be playing about 220. What are you going with? I'm out with four iron. Four iron. It's borderline. I was temp I'm tempted by a one iron, but I think 200 uphill, four iron into wind. Well, I've just turned myself into a one iron. <laughs> <laughs> Saying all that out loud made it sound a bit ridiculous. Do you not have a three now? Three what? Three iron? Yeah. No. I should probably move the camera a little bit in case it comes out a bit low. Like, like the last hole? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is going to require a bit of shape as well. I'm going to hit a bit of a draw. It's a slightly hanging lie, so. Right bunker, bit of shape. Come on. Come on, Carter. Got it up there, it was the right club. I think it's right into the green if it's wide enough. Good shot. Thank you. Oh, look at that for a but looking back at a hole. I'm should stood just short of the green, way above Fletcher's head here. About five foot. <laughs> um, so he's out with the lob wedge, he needs plenty of height. Coming out of the rough as well. I don't really think the ball's releasing out of the rough anyway today. It's been very wet. It's raining as we speak. Greens are um, greens are getting a bit wet, obviously, with the constant rainfall. So they are very receptive. This ball is pretty good. Really good shot. Nice shot. 
just right at the flag, but he's fine. I am pin high. Green's not quite as wide as I hoped, so I will have to chip as well. So Carter's is a slight downhill here, so the ball is going to release. Where, where, where's your landing point here? Is it going to be? Probably to the right, about two foot short of your ball. Okay. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, get in. Oh, shot. Wow. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. Right. Yeah, it's an easy four on a easy on a colossal par four. What's the problem? Stroke one. Driver one iron. Easy. Stroke one. Why? <laughs> Right, I am well happy with that. Well happy. <laughs> well happy. Sorry guys, it's a very Manchester. Mancunian. Very Mancunian uh, way of speaking there. Buzzing with it. Buzzing. Dead happy. <laughs> right, so Fletch needs this now. Yeah. This is to effectively half the hole and stay as stay we are. With, with, stay within one, I believe, isn't it? We're both level par, aren't we, so far? No, I'm one over. Oh, you one over? Yeah. My bad. Bogey we'll the last. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're just trying to remind me, aren't you? Apologies. I'm not trying to remind you of the missed put on the last. Hit it. Oh! Hard luck. After a tee shot, I'll have to be after with it. Yeah, you called the five from there because it was a massively long way from where the tee shot ended up. That's what it's all about. That tee shot is yeah, the key, isn't you've got it? To be, really? You've got to be aggressive off the tee, haven't you? Yeah, make sure he's tight left. So, two over level. That's it. On to the next, guys. So, we're going to study the whole one on hole number 14, par 44, 377. Let's see what they've got to say. Hole 14. A tee shot to the top of the hill at around 230 yards will leave you on the same level as the green for your approach. Any further and the ball will run onto a down slope and into a valley which can leave a hard second shot to judge as it makes it difficult to judge the flag position from below the hole. The green itself tapers off on the left and the ball can often roll off into the fringe. This is a tricky green to hold, especially when firm. Okay, so 2.30 off the tee, Carter. We don't want to go longer. Because right. then um, it drops down. Let's do as we're told. Four iron in hand for Carter. Yep. Flag's a good line here, actually, with a little bit of draw to take it to the left side of the fairway. Flag is in long between. Long, narrow green, isn't it? So All about the angle for the second shot. So a big, strong four iron, maybe. And a little clean. No, it's ripped it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Middle of the fairway, but right so, side of it, not yeah, left. Yeah, right side. Didn't quite yeah. have enough draw on it, but it's fine now. It took a really firm bounce. Really firm bounce. Did it? Yeah. Hopefully, didn't bounce it anywhere I don't want to be. The old rescues out, the old faithful, the little fairway finder. Don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Flex working on that overswing. That's it. Increase club head speed. Yeah, go the same principle as yours. Flag, a little bit of a draw. Ooh. Same as, well, it's a bit further right than me. Just right of that tree. Jinxed it. Yep. You <laughs> did. Blocked it. The old block. Yes, indeed. This will be an interesting shot. The flag is right behind the trunk. Not a bad lie. No. Actually, it's a little bit of a launch pad to go up and get. Make sure you get the height of that uh, of that tree anyway. But that's it. I'm right sure, side. I'm sure you'll be all right. Just slightly right of the tree trunk. Tree what? shouldn't come into play. 
far enough back. Good course management, listening to the info. Why did they tell you to hit it here? It said don't hit it over 2.30. Ah. I think. Yep, straight over the tree. There's no point zooming in because of the tree in the way. On the green. On the money. And then gone long. Ah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. No, yardage was absolute perfection. I am slap bang in the middle and looking down at the flag, which is just left edge of the tree tree leaves. So, a bit of room, just about enough room. One, five, seven. Feels like it's touch down wind, touch down hill, so I'm gonna go with the nine iron. I was, I was gonna say, I reckon nine will be good for you. It's gonna go a nice high towering nine iron. I've seen it so often on TV. Can I do it? Taking dead aim as well. Is it on the money? It's pretty good. Oh, oh yeah, that's fine. I'll tell you that, 20 feet. Just right at the flag? Yeah. Good shot. Thank you. Right, so Fletcher's pit, we just repaired his pitch mark, it was pinned high but he took a really firm bounce and he's just kind of run up, run up the bank in there behind the green, so this is going to be an interesting third. Downhill lie which will encourage the club to release, uh, the ball to release, also as well it's coming out of rough again which will encourage the ball to release. This bit short of the actual green is quite a big dip here, so we kind of need to decide whether he's going to clear that with a bit more loft. And then just decide what sort of flight it's going to give. But he's leaning forward, the weight's on the left side. Club face is slightly open by the looks of things. Biggest swing, yeah, it's just come out a bit too hot. Oh, this is not a nice run. Tricky shot though, I was just saying you've got to really land that perfectly. I didn't want to be short. There's not, there's not enough green because you've got this big upslope here. If you land it into there, you won't make the flag, so. I would have been infuriated if I left it short. We don't want to see Fletch infuriated. <laughs> but on a positive note, he's not lost his turn because now he can put the pressure on. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you twist it upside down. I was trying to make it sound good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> this is my par. Come on, don't have three bogeys in a row. I know, it's like There's got to be a forfeit for that. You've got to do a cleansman down the slopes. Oh, too firm through the break. Hard luck, man. Take it away. Yeah, give me that out of sympathy. <laughs> yeah, you can take that away for your bogey. I hate golf. <laughs> <laughs> right, you get the bogeys, I'll get the birdies, yeah? Well, I want someone to get the birdies. Apologies for the boring golf. <laughs> Right, I'm going outside the right edge. Good firm po positivity. Come on. on line as well. Come on. Come on. Oh, uh. What happened to positivity? <sighs> Honestly, if I'd have hit that six inches harder, that was holding its line. Uh. Never mind. On to the next. On to the next. Oh, car to an iron, what's all that about? Big dog leg left. Not really lot long either, so. I suppose. No, I'm gonna hit three wood. I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. I can't really see where it's gonna be. The but green, just for you guys to know, is. Mm, where's my... I can, just, where... can you make out the bunker on the camera? There. Yeah. Yeah, we see the bunker just. That's where I'm going to head towards in the three So if I go too far, okay. then I'm just in the rough and pitching down to the green. Yeah. Sounded like you smoked that one, pal. Perfect. 
It's perfect. Yeah, it's a good job, eh? Three wood, not one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Would have been in the water. <laughs> good shot. Yeah, it was nice, that. Driver for me. Driver. Nice little number plate on the buggy there. Watch from home. Glorious golf course. It is. Absolutely loving it, actually. I've, uh, I've only played here once before. Played the back nine twice. Sorry, front nine twice. So, we got rained off last time we were here, remember? Yeah. Hailstones. Oh, it was nuts. Massive, massive so, hailstones. beautiful golf course. If you're in the area, guys, definitely come and try it out. They are. They'll do some nice deals, I'm sure. Right. The back, the back nine is, is really special. Oh, this is incredible back nine. Hard. Hard, but it's special. Similar line to you, a little bit righter. Ah, uh, bottled out. Yeah, it bailed right? it. Just right side. Oh, oh that's not going to be healthy. Not happy. Right guys, tee shots. Where's mine? Let me zoom out. There's one, sorry, didn't see that. There's mine in the middle of the fairway. Fletcher's on the top of the hill. No real danger to be fair. Just yeah. a bit of a push off the tee. Right, I need a birdie now. 127 yards. I need a birdie, come on. Come on, Fletch. Land it on top of the tee. Birdie or eagle. The, you, the, the YouTube world are willing a birdie out of you. It come is on, on the money. Come on, you good. Push, ah, go, go. Sure. Yeah, that flag is hanging on that back edge though, so that's a good port. It's going to be uphill quite a lot though, but it's absolutely fine. It's a tough flag that. 102. Yep, 102 into the flag. Got 50 degree. I found a nice little three quarter shot from 100 yards with this one, so I'll just get my yardage right again and accuracy. Threatening a couple of birdies, so nice to get one. Come on. Oh, nice, nice movement through the ball there. Same as you, I think. Yeah, it's quite, it's, I'm quite aggressive enough. It's, Hard flag to it keep is. Too. You don't want you want to be aggressive at the flag, but then you, subconsciously or consciously you're thinking. You don't want to make that massive error of missing it long. Yeah. Because then you've got no shot coming back. You don't have side chances. Right, just come onto the green. This is a pin. I mean, let me see if I can get this as a good angle. All right, so I'm now below the flag, and that little corner there is the a second tier. So this flag is in such a difficult position. Really <laughs> yeah. difficult position. Greenkeeper wasn't in a good mood when he came to this hole. Nope, Greenkeeper was not a happy chappy. Quite happy with mine. Mine how it's turned I'm not, out. I'll uphill. Be honest, I'm not looking forward to this putt. I think you've got this. You'll be fine. I'm gonna leave the flag in so you can see it and so the viewers can see it as well. And come on, up the hill. Left to right. Left to right. Get your pace. Two putts. Yeah, it's definitely a two putt one. Two putt territory. This one. Great effort. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, so well played. One of them, I had to actually go left of the hole because if I ended up missing it right, it could have ended up being Come down. back down there. Yeah. Take that away. Um, I'm, I'll take that. I'll take that. Right, pal, you've got one. It's a bit straighter, can be a little bit aggressive. Yeah, I think it can be a bit more aggressive. Obviously, it's uphill, so I need to get my right pace, but. It's a big uphill, yours, when you first hit it, I thought, oh, he's raced it, and then it just massively no. stalled on the hill. You can really feel it falling to the side, so. Come on. This to extend the lead. Alright, what about a 
outside the right. Oh, oh. Ah, it came back a little bit as well. The last few rolls it just moved back. Any danger of one dropping? It's that moment, isn't it, where you make, where you miss two or three birdie chances in a row, and then you make bogey, and you're like, how am I one over? Yeah. Never mind. We've got a par three next, though. And that is also the end of part two, guys. That's right. Very big thank you for watching. Massive thank you to Q Hotels and the beautiful Mottram Hall. We stayed here last night, incredible location, really nice part of Cheshire. Rooms were absolutely fantastic. Breakfast this morning was delightful. Slow, slightly slower swings on the first tee this morning. <laughs> um, we've got part three coming up, so do check it out. We've got a beautiful part three, massive dog leg par four to finish, which is an amazing 17th hole. That's the and best hole on yeah, the golf course, so make sure to watch. Course. And the par five 18th to come. So guys, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you over in part three. Please do subscribe to the channel and follow us on our social media platforms as well. And we'll see you soon. See ya.